Hi guy, welcome to BNB Spoilers and News Channel, today we will talk about. We've been able to get our hands on another set of two new teaser descriptions for the October 7, 2020 installment, so we'll be handling them for you right now. Let's do it. First of all, it looks like tomorrow's new Wednesday October 7, 2020 episode will feature some pretty interesting, possible very dramatic and intense scenes, as Zenday Forrester shows on the stage. Eric is about to hear a very revealing video chat and more. We're going to start this spoiler session with the Zenday Forrester situation. Yes. Oh yes. It's true, guys. If either of you missed the character of Zenday Forrester, tomorrow will be your first day to see him in action again. He will of course be played by a different actor. So it will have a new look. Zenday will be back in town from Paris Friggin for God only knows why. The official CBS description for this latest Zenday Forrester screenplay tells us, talented fashion designer Zenday Forrester Dominguez is arriving from Paris as Delon de Metz joins Bold Beautiful. Other things we hear about Zenday is that he'll end up competing with Thomas at Forrester Creations. Zenday will also give Carter a run for his money when he finds Zoe attractive and gives her some attention. So, get ready for the possible drama and chaos this story could cause later. The second and final description of the teaser lets us know that Quinn is about to have some serious trouble with Eric when he ends up with an earshot of his very revealing video chat with Shauna. CBS's description for this latest Quinn and Eric plot tells us, unbeknownst to Quinn, Eric is within earshot of his revealing video chat with Shauna. As we have already reported, whatever is going on right now is going to totally bring Quinn's entire world to its knees around her, and she will be very frantic in the October 8, 2020 episode. It's specific to CBS for now. We'll have to wait and see the exact consequences Quinn will encounter with Eric going forward, as we don't have any other official scoops for Quinn beyond the October 8, 2020 episode. Other than that, you can expect to see Brooke and Ridge receive some very shocking information from Carter in the October 8, 2020 episode. So that should be a very interesting scene as well. Prepare for it. Alright guys. Those are all the spoiler teasers we could find for tomorrow's new episode, October 7, 2020, of The Bold and the Beautiful, but certainly expect to see at least a few other scenes that weren't mentioned in this session of spoiler. The Bold and the Beautiful airs Monday through Friday at approximately 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time on CBS. Stay tuned. In Eric's living room, Brooke said the ceremony would not take place. Quinn exclaimed that Ridge and Brooke were history and wondered when Brooke would squeeze this through her thick head. Quinn said Ridge was about to stand outside and make it clear that Shauna was his future, not Brooke. Brooke believed that she and Ridge still had a future. Quinn claimed to have invited Brooke to the wedding so Brooke could see Ridge and Shauna's love for real. Brooke maintained that Quinn had hoped to rub Brooke's face in it, noting that Brooke was not handling things well. Quinn suggested that Brooke leave. Quinn insisted the wedding would take place and said everyone was waiting. Brooke felt that they would all be disappointed because she was there to put an end to it. Quinn didn't want Brooke to interrupt anything. 
she said Brooke had her chances with Ridge and that the way Brooke had disappointed him for decades was sickening. Brooke said it wasn't about Quinn, but Quinn argued that it wasn't about Brooke either. It was about Shauna, and Quinn wouldn't let Brooke ruin Shauna's big day. Brooke asked where Shauna was, and Quinn revealed that Shauna was getting ready at a friend's house. Quinn gloated that Shauna would be the bride Ridge deserved, and the ceremony would be the one Shauna deserved. Brooke wondered why Quinn would want her best friend to marry Ridge, who was in love with Brooke. Quinn pointed out that all Ridge and Brooke had together was a child. Quinn reminded Brooke that Shauna and Ridge were already married, but Brooke said he didn't remember marrying Shauna. Quinn had predicted that that would change that day, and he would remember every wish he made in front of the family. Deal with it, Logan, or else, Quinn threatened. Brooke wanted to see Ridge. Quinn has not confirmed whether Ridge was there or not. Quinn wondered if Brooke really expected Ridge to declare her love to her after marrying Shauna in Vegas and agreeing to remarry that day. Quinn suggested that Brooke get over it and move on because Ridge was no longer hers, it belonged to Shauna and always would be. Brooke revealed her suspicion that Quinn played a role in Ridge and Brooke's split, and the look in Quinn's eyes confirmed it for Brooke. Quinn stated that Ridge wasn't Brooke for the take, and he wasn't interested in what Brooke had to offer, especially in relation to Shauna. Brooke said it was enough, but Quinn said she was just getting started. Brooke announced that she was going upstairs to see Ridge. Quinn exclaimed that it would be on her corpse, and there was no way Brooke could ruin the day for Shauna or Ridge. Quinn tried to convince Brooke that Ridge wouldn't return to the depravity with her and that Shauna could give her a life that Brooke couldn't. Quinn claimed that Shauna understood the meaning of love and commitment, but a slut like Brooke never would. Brooke said Quinn had lost him. Quinn argued that Brooke ultimately lost Ridge. Quinn said Brooke was no match for Quinn. Quinn reminded Brooke of her failed attempt to break up Eric and Quinn. Quinn proclaimed that she was still the matriarch with her portrait on the wall, and the only person kicked out of the family was Brooke. In Forrester, Katie told Ridge the truth was out, and Ridge had not sent the message to Carter that ended Ridge's marriage to Brooke. It was Quinn and Shauna. Ridge became disappointed for trusting Shauna, who had done this to him. Katie said Shauna and Quinn had done a terrible thing by asking Carter to file these papers and lead Ridge to a ceremony he was in no condition to attend. Ridge said the drunken night in Las Vegas didn't make sense to him, and it was mainly because he didn't think he would do that to Brooke. He hadn't thought he would text Carter about the papers without even talking to Brooke. He finally knew why. It was because Shauna had lied to her, which she said she would never do. He felt he needed to talk to her. Katie said Ridge already knew what Shauna was going to say. According to Katie, Shauna would say how sorry she was, begging him to remember the moments they had shared and urging her not to question her feelings for him. Shauna would pretend to hate herself for keeping it a secret, but Katie told her to either stop listening or never trust Shauna again. Outside, in her dress at her friend's house, Shauna looked back on moments with Ridge in Las Vegas. 
she recalled that she feared Ridge would leave her if he knew the truth. Shauna made a video call to Ridge. She said she needed to tell him something that weighed on her. It was about the night in Vegas. Ridge revealed that he knew Shauna had lied to him. Ridge said she texted Carter to end Ridge's marriage. Sorry for that, Shauna said there was no justification for his actions. She had wanted to live with him, and she had succeeded. He claimed that she had cheated on him to marry her. She replied that she knew it was wrong, but that she had done it, anyway. Ridge asked if Quinn had instigated Shauna to do so. Shauna admitted that Quinn had been involved, but Shauna thought she could have done the right thing on her own. Shauna said she loved him too much to go through the ceremony without him knowing the truth. She knew he valued honesty and she had destroyed his trust. She could never forgive herself for that. I mean, do you ever think you could forgive me? She asked. Ridge believed that Quinn had pushed Shauna and that Shauna had compromised herself because she had wanted to be Mrs. Ridge Forrester. He hoped it was worth it. He said he wanted her to know that he had already chosen not to complete the ceremony before he even learned what she had done. Shauna assumed it was because Ridge loved Brooke too much. Shauna said part of her had known it would turn out like this. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe.